See now on your Monday morning, Halloween is already tomorrow. I know you're getting excited at home, but what we're not getting excited for is the busiest travel season of the year is just around the corner, my friends. So weather, staffing shortages, as well as just simple supply and demand can all make the perfect storm for canceling your flights. And you probably remember Southwest canceling more than 15,000 of them last December. It was a total meltdown. And getting back your money, if it happens to you, that can be really hard. That can be a challenge. So who better to prepare us for these kinds of situations than News Nation travel editor, Peter Greenberg. Uh, Peter, we're hoping for a, a smoother season this time around, but it's likely passengers will deal with canceled flights, delayed flights, lost luggage with crowds and winter weather. Let's start with just the key rights that travelers should be aware of when it comes to compensation for flight cancellation and luggage. What can we ask for and what can we demand? Well, let's go back to what happens when your flight is canceled. If the airline cancels your flight, you have rights. In fact, there's a, a long-standing Department of Transportation rule that's been on the books for decades that basically says if the airline cancels your flight, you're entitled to an immediate and full refund to your original form of purchase. That doesn't mean a credit or a credit voucher or a future flight credit. That's where people get into trouble with those draconian gift card ideas. You yeah. are entitled to that. Now, the airlines may not be volunteering that information to you. They certainly didn't do a very good job of that during COVID, but now the, the, the cat's out of the bag. That rule is in place. The DOT is enforcing it. So you need to re basically gently remind the airline about that to get your money back. But you do that right on the spot. Okay, yeah, that's really good to know. Peter, I was also reading uh, this weekend that getting compensated also very much matters on what country you're in, you know, and, and where your flight is originating from. Airlines in Europe required to compensate travelers for delays more than three hours uh, when the airline is at fault. Um, are there any other kind of nuanced tips and tricks like that for us to keep in our back pockets for these kinds of situations? Well, let's start again back in the U.S. because that DOT rule means any airline that flies to or through the U.S. That includes foreign carriers. Now, in the European Union, they have a much better system than we do. It's called European uh, Community Rule Number 261. And as you suggested, if your flight's delayed more than three hours, they are immediately required to provide you compensation. It's on a sliding scale, depending on how late the delay is. And if it's over a certain amount of time, they're providing accommodations, they're providing meals. We don't have that yet in the U.S. We have a statement of mission from airlines saying they're going to attempt to do that, but the DOT has not made it an official rule yet, and we may not see that rule until next year. But yeah. if you're flying any of those 30 European countries and that happens to happen to you, even if it's a U.S. carrier, those rules kick in. Okay. Uh, yeah, really good to know. I imagine there are a lot of Americans, too, hesitant to travel after what they went through and experienced uh, last year. Peter, I also like your new friends in the background behind you there. <laughs> The the gorillas. <laughs> Who do you got? <laughs> I, I, I send you. I send you. I send you greetings from Rwanda. That's where I am right now, oh in the capital God. city of Kigali. I'm going to be here. I got to bring my friends. Fantastic. <laughs> I just had to know. I had to throw it out there. Um, but yes, who better to talk to about all things travel uh, than you, Peter? Uh, we'll see you soon. Safe travel, sir. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.